what's cracking guys today I'm going to show you how to create what's called the vertigo effect on Final Cut Pro 10 it's really easy and really awesome if you're adding it to blogs or uh, using it in different footage man it really adds a neat perspective to what would otherwise be a normal clip so right now I have three clips in in timeline I have this first one with an object that's a ship uh, it's an old abandoned ship that sits in marsh and during the winter time obviously it's sitting in snow and it just sits there it's a beautiful scene up here in Alaska it's great uh, then I have some landscape with no clear object in front but you can still get that same vertical effect using the mountains in the background and then this one we're gonna try doing a uh, point of interest around the ship and see how that looks I, I shot this using the Mavic Pro with creating the vertigo effect you can actually do that by using a zoom lens and uh, zooming in as you're walking backwards or zooming out as you're walking forwards but we're on the drone and that this drone doesn't have that opportunity the option to do that so we're gonna create it in Final Cut Pro it's really simple click on the clip go here to your crop tool go to crop and you're gonna click over here on the right side to Ken Burns effect now when you're moving forward with the drone you want to make sure that your green start box is actually on the one on the inside up here you can reverse it but you don't want to do that so let's go ahead and get this to where we want it now the, the smaller the screen box is the faster it's going to zoom and depending on what you're shooting in I'm shooting in 4k but depending on what you're shooting in, you're gonna lose a lot of resolution if this box gets too small so I'm gonna bring it about there center it up and hit done and we should have our clip let's check this out See, we got, see how the drone is moving forward, but the background looks like it's getting farther away. It's called the vertigo effect. It's great. Um, here, we're going to use this other clip. Right here, it's just landscape, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Now, this one, I have, I'm have i actually moving backwards, so I'm going to go ahead and do this on the reverse. Now, because I'm moving backwards, I'm going to have my end screen be the one that's that I adjust the size on. So let's do the same thing. And actually, I kind of want to make this bigger because we don't have an object. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's hit done. And let's see how it looks. See how those mountains are getting bigger? We're moving backwards. Just an awesome effect. Love it. Here's a rotation that I did around the ship. I'm going to see how it looks. I haven't actually done it yet with the uh, using the vertigo effect and the Ken Burns. So let's try it out. Let's go here. Crop Ken Burns again. Super easy and we can create a small one maybe and see how that looks i'm not sure i'm really not sure how it's going to look with this but let's try it out all right yeah i really don't notice a whole lot i see a little bit of effect in there but i don't notice a whole lot with it so you know it might not work that great for rotating shots but anyway guys be sure and hit the subscribe button if this has been helpful for you if it hasn't that's okay but i hope this has uh, given you guys the ability to do something fun and add a little better element to your videos mm -hmm.